Hello and welcome to another Honeywell video. In this video, we'll view the configuration settings for a public domain email to be used under the email configuration settings of Winpack. When configuring the email settings in Winpack, the computer that will be used must have an Ethernet connection. To configure the login information for the email's IDs, under the Winpack user interface, locate the system menu, then click system, and then system defaults. In the system default configuration dialog box, click the email configuration tab. Then, in the email configuration tab, configure the following information. First, we'll see the sender information. From. Fill in the login information for the account that will be sending the emails. In the case, the from and username fields use the same information. Authentication method. For Gmail, Hotmail or Office 365, the two options available in this section are Auth login, which means is preferred as it ensures encrypted communication, or login plane, that can lead to a login fail attempt or the server deny access even though the credentials are ok. Fill in the login information for the account that will be sending the emails. In this case, the form and username fields use the same data. Password. Type the password for the selected authentication method. Mail server. Hostname. The name should be specific for each email provider. Port number. 587 for secure communications, but each email provider might have their own port. SSL. If enabled, it allows a secure connection. For Gmail, Hotmail and Office 365, need enable as they can deny access if disabled. Encoding. Provides different encoding formats. Click Configure Emails ID to configure the emails ID of the user to whom alarm reports must be sent. The Configuration Emails ID dialog box will appear. Type the emails ID in the Form 2, CC and BCC text boxes. For a use example videos, you can view the how to configure an email notification in Winpack or how to schedule a report to be sent by email in Winpack. For more information and videos, please visit our webpage honeywelldiscovertraining.com.